the question that is there is for us to be able to identify if the winding of that motor is connected in either star or delta. So before we dive into trying to understand if the winding is either configured in star or delta, we need to understand the different rules as far as the star delta configuration is concerned. So when we talk of star and delta configuration, so when we talk of star, which is denoted as such, and then delta is denoted as such. So when we talk of star connection, we have a rule that we have to follow. As such, we'll be able to know how to configure the windings of that motor in star. So in star, when we have our winding as such, this is the winding. So here will be U1, here will be V1, and W1. As such, we have here now as U2, V2, and W2. So to configure this winding now, the law says that the start of all the different, all the end of the windings are all connected together. This is the law of star configuration. This is star connection. So if you connect all the different windings, all the secondary windings, all the end of each winding, if you look them all together, you've connected in star. The same way if you look at in your electric motor, you will see them as such. So here will be U1, V1, and W1. Here will be U2, to make put this as such, V2, and W2. So to connect this now in Star what we'll do is we'll connect all of these windings together. So we we'll configure it in Star. So now in Delta, is something different which we have to look at it. So to connect in Delta now, what happened? The start of each winding will be connected to the end of the next winding. This is what we have to understand. So this is Delta configuration. In Delta, the start of each winding, so we have our winding as such. This is U1, V1, and W1. So this is U2, W2, U2, V2, and W2. So the start of each winding is connected to the end of the next winding. The start of this winding, which is V1, is connected to the end of the next winding. And the start of this winding is connected to the end of this winding. So we find it as such. So this is the delta connection. So if you look at in your electric motor now, what will happen is, we have a terminal board as such, which will be U1, V1, and W1. So here will be U2, V2, and W2. So to connect this now in star, what will happen is, all these are going to be connected together. As you can see, these will move and then connect to this winding. But if you look at in our electric motor, what is being done in the electric motor is to do it in such a way that We'll be able to achieve both in star and delta without having all these connections as such. So to do that or to be able to achieve that, what we do is what we done here now is we connected as such, having there will be U1, V1, and W1. Supposing that you're carrying out your electric motor, maybe you're doing rewinding of electric motor. So after you finish with the rewinding of your electric motor, you bring all the different wires or all the yeah, you bring all the different wires on the terminal board. Now what happens is for you to be able to achieve either in star or delta, suffice that you have to present or make sure that you put the different windings as such. There are ways that you have to put them so that you'll be able to achieve either in star or in delta without having to take cables here and there. So to achieve that, what happens is you need to first of all understand the law of star as well as in delta. So in star, what happens is the start of the all the different end, the end of the end, the end of the windings are all looped together for star. So for delta, the start of each winding is connected to the end of the next winding. So to achieve that now, we move now to delta first because once we achieve in delta, we'll be able to achieve as well in star. So in Delta now what happens is we need to connect now 
the start of u1 to the end of v winding which will be v2 what will happen is we have to bring v2 here in order to achieve that so the start of v1 is connected to the end of the next winding which is w2 we'll bring it here so the start of this winding of w1 is connected to the end of u winding which is u2 so here will be u2 to so we'll be able to achieve that so in star what does it say it says that the end of all the windings are all coupled together with achieving star the same way in delta the start of each winding is connected to the end of the next winding so we achieve for both star and delta so